Hi everyone, this is Papichi here, and today we're gonna do um we're gonna do some platforming tutorials. This is gonna be my first tutorial, so let's get started. We don't need any of that stuff. We don't need any of that stuff. <laughs> so so you want to make a platform game. Well, a platforming game. Well, you don't know how to make it. Some some of my fans, some of some of my fans, such as the Awesome Boy, doesn't know how to make platforming games. But but I'll be but I'll decide I'll decide I decided to be nice and just give out a, a tutorial here. I'm just gonna build. I'm just gonna build a water here. <clears throat> Let's spread this a bit. And also, um, this is kind of this is kind of like da Daisy's artwork, though. So this artwork is is inspired by Daisy, you know. Daisy did some beautiful artwork to games. She she puts beautiful artwork to her games. And yeah. And I think that should be good enough. Yeah, that's good enough. Oops. <clears throat> Paste it right here because it's supposed to be a background. Alright, so, so the first thing you want to do is to make a custom, I don't know, I'm just going to set it to, let's get it set it to baby green. Yeah, set the color to baby green. Uh, squish it, stretch it, squeeze it, move it, there, all, alright. Now another thing is that uh, you need another sprite. This is going to be the platform. This will be the platform, dudes. So we have a platform now. Let's change the color to. Let's set it to baby purple. Baby, pur baby purple is cute. It's mine. Uh, so we, so let's set this platform here. We're gonna put this basic looking platform. We're gonna put it. We're gonna set this to over here, in the middle. Yeah, let's do that. <clears throat> move now. Move this over here. Now the first. So, so when you first start off. It it always has to sit here. Pretty much, you don't have to you don't have to do anything. You don't have to do anything. You just, you just set it to here and just lock it. There's nothing much to do unless you want to put uh, animations, or you want to do animations on your another sprite, and it will follow the the variable over. It will follow the sprite over here. But for now, let's leave it there. So. So when you go into code a platform, you one thing is that you always need a variable, and this will be the motion, which makes the all the movements so smooth. It makes all the movements smooth. When I first developed my Kevin and Friends video game one, none of us know how to do smooth movements like those. We already figured out how to do platforming on our own, but we don't know how to do smooth stuff, but we figured it out. <clears throat> so, so it always has to show and go to, not go to front layer, it always has to be the back layer. 
So when so when you first start off, it has to go here. And also, if possible, you can you can change the. Oh, you know what? Let's say here. You can change. You can change the size. Like you can make it anything. And fifty-four. All right. So always, always, always need a forever block. Oh, and also one more thing. One important thing is that you always need. I think this off a bit. You always need the left and right movements. So let's go. Let's put in if if if, if we press the left arrow or press the right arrow. It changed x by 10 and and well, yeah negative 10 so negative 10 and if right it goes 10 all right let's try it out huh. so I, yeah it's backwards so so if left arrow it has to be 10 and if right it has to be negative 10 because it's backwards. It's supposed to be backwards. All right, there we go. So that's so that's a uh, one simple thing you can do for platforming. All right. Now here's the important part. So if not touching, now let's do the ups and downs. So if not touching the ball. Then repeat ten times. Wait. No, no, no. Let's do this. So to make smooth movements, always set the motion to zero because that's how you do it. Set motion by one. So what is one? So yeah. When it falls, Everyone knows that falling goes down, but this one has to go up because it's inverted. It's a platform. So repeat until touching. Oh, no. If it's not touching the ball, if it's not touching the ball, it goes down. But and vertically, it goes up. So change Y and put this here. But we're, but let's not test it yet because we don't we don't implement it the so if if you click space then if we click the space bar we got to <laughs> so repeat ten times. It has to go up. So let's set it to 10. That way we don't have to worry about changing it back. And yes, back 10. Wait, no, negative 10. So it has been has been negative because it's jumping. And then it's duplicated. So after after the repeat, it has to change variable by one. So repeat ten times. It goes one. So it has to go one. What does this do? Well, so let's say this. So so copy this and paste. So so we set the variable to one. If we change it by one, it goes up to one. So it's going to change up to one every time. And change this by, by, so whatever number is here. So anything, so if you put a particular number here, it goes up by the speed of the motion. So, so yeah, let's turn off 60 frames a second. It's still going to be smooth. So stick with me here. So it's 30 frames a second with interpolation, which means it mixes 60 frames a second without doubling the speed. But anyway, 
So if you, so most of you know how this works, right? But this one says one. So if we put it here, it's only can change it by one. So yeah, but now if we, if this happens again, it's going to change it by two and it's doubling the speed. So three, it goes even faster. And then if you put more, if you put 10, it goes even faster. So yeah, so let's set it to zero. So yeah, so it goes up and then, and then change and then repeat 10 times it goes up by one. However, if you set it to 20, you're going to have to put 20 times. So, so whatever number is in here, you're going to have to put in the same number here as this one. So if you put 20, it's going to, this is going to be repeat 20 times. If you put 30, it's going to be 30 times. Now, I think this is going to be the last part. And then repeat until what the <laughs> repeat until touching the ball oh my god i'm i'm crazy i'm so crazy yeah short term memory loss just as marcus said all right so if not touching ball yeah i think we're good let's let's try it out all right we got this and bada boom yeah so we have so we have successfully did platforming wait no not that all the way to the middle so that's how you platform guys that's how you do platforming so it's kind of easy to make yeah it should be easy to make Doing platform is, is should be easy to make. As you can see, this motion block um, stays the same as you touch the platform. But once you but once you press space, it, the motion variable goes up by it, oh I mean it will be set to ten, negative ten. And then as it falls, it goes it goes up by one. So negative ten, negative nine, negative eight, seven, negative seven. And this is all the way to zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then picks up picks up the number and picks up speed as it falls down. So so it reaches to up to twenty six. If you fall off the platform, it's still not gonna touch anything and the number is just gonna keep going up. So So yeah, pretty much you're gonna fall off. So but for my Kevin and Friends video game two we set this we set this block so when so when t was so when when you press t let's copy this block so when you press t oh also don't forget to set the motion to zero because make sure you put the motion to zero you guys you guys are you have to put this here but don't just leave it here don't leave it like this. Ooh, so put so put a T and here and I have no problem. No, you cannot just do that. Why? Because the motion variable keeps going on. It's gonna it's the motion variable is gonna keep picking up speed and it's not gonna touch touch the platform whatsoever. It's gonna be so fast that it's not gonna touch the platform whatsoever. So so make sure make sure set it to zero because that's the most important part. So let's press T. And here we go. That's how you reset the platform. Now I'm gonna show you what, what's gonna happen if you remove this block. So it's picking up speed. Let's wait until it reaches to 300. So as it falls off, it's going to keep picking, picking up speed. So see, if you press T, it's not going to touch anything because the motion variable is too big. So always set it to zero because it needs to be, it doesn't, it's not supposed to move at all. So what about 
what about goal? So if we reach the goal, how are we supposed to stop the platform? Well, um, set it to green. And it's going to be the ring. All right. So that should be the goal. And let's move here. I'm just going to stop this. So, so let's move the platform this way. So, if you want to stop the platform when you reach the end, let's set it to... Where's the block? No, not set. What, what, what am I talking about? Ah, here it is. So, wait until... So wait until it touches this color. So make sure you use this. Copy the color of the of your goal. So when it's when it's touching this, then this is so broadcast a message. You can put any message name. For me, I just put like the next stage or something so so when i receive message one always 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 set it to zero but pretty much it's not gonna happen so set it to zero you can remove this block i guess but i wouldn't i wouldn't do that so but not stop all yet to stop the entire program, but we're going to put stop up after a few scripts. And repeat two times. Change brightness and pixelate five. We said it, oh, the brightness, so the negative five. Okay, hide. Clear graphics. And then now we can put stop all. Okay, so that's how you stop the entire program. Now let's test it out. All right. And that's how you platform, guys. That's how you make the platforming. I hope you guys enjoy this video. This is going to be, well, this is the end of the tutorial. This is the end of the tutorial, guys. Man, I forgot to say it. I'm crazy. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial video. I am Papichi, signing off.